Let's get glam. Hey guys, so I haven't really done that many tutorials lately and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I also haven't done a intro video in my last two videos, my both my Barbie tutorials, and I apologize for that again. My camera completely died as soon as I finished like doing my Barbie tutorial. Like I had one more step to do too, so I was just like, you know what, that step's not as important. People will live without knowing that step. Anyways, so this is my like intro video finally again, and you guys get to catch up with my life. Um, as you can tell, I got my hair cut. I got my hair cut last night, and I dyed my hair cut a few days ago. I dyed my hair cut. Did I just say that? Wow. Anyways, I dyed my hair dark brown. It almost looks black, but it's just dark brown. And I'm in love with it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm, like, madly in love with it. Um, if you look at my blog, I actually did a, like, a hair trend report on like haircuts and a lot of people are actually getting it like shoulder length a little bit past shoulder length mine's like a few inches good a few inches past shoulder length but my hair was probably like two or three inches longer and it was so unhealthy so many split ends like this do you see this it's shiny and it it's like almost fine like I'm in love with it well maybe not fine but it bounces back and it stays straight and I love it I'm sorry I'm looking in the mirror the mirror is that way and it's distracting me. Um, I'm also like, Halloween's coming up soon and I feel like I should be doing more tutorials for Halloween and I haven't and I feel really bad. But I do have a Barbie tutorial. I'm actually going to be Barbie for Halloween and I'm really excited for that. I mean, you're never too old to trick or treat. I mean, some people might think it's creepy if you're like 50 or something, but you know what? I love trick or treating and I'm only 15 so it's okay. Um, so anyways, I'm going to start the tutorial now. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I can't wait to do another tutorial, and basically I forgot to say that this is like a natural earthy green or green, um, green and brown tutorial, very earthy, and it's perfect, like it's still really natural, so if you want to wear color, it's completely natural. Anyways, I'm going to start the tutorial now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, that was wrong, again. So, here we go, yay! Actual eyeshadow. So you're going to take a large shader brush, and I'm using, it looks like this, and then you're going to take a forest green color, olive green, I don't even know, and I'm using this color right here, right there. And since this is Sephora and this came in a like gift, you're gonna wanna get like a lot like it came in a compact thing. Palette, that's what it's called. You're actually gonna want a lot if you have one a color that doesn't blend as well and doesn't go on as well. And for this step right here, if you kinda get it up in the crease a little bit, that's fine. You cover it up later, so that's perfectly fine. And then you're just going to try to get your whole entire eyelid. You don't have to worry as much as like the exact inner corner, but try to get it as far in as you can. And you want it to appear really dark. Okay, so basically after that's done, you take a small shadow brush. And I'm using this one. Where is it? There we go. There we go. I don't even know if it's like the same. And then you're going to take a lighter green color. And I'm using this one. Where is it? My god, I'm having issues today. I'm sorry. And then you just get some on your brush. And you go on the inner corner part. This is where you really care about the inner corner. And bring it down to the bottom. And you can bring it in a little bit too. Just so you brighten up that area. And it makes your eyes look further apart. So if you have a problem with that, that's perfectly good. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm in camera range right now. I'm sorry. And then you take the same dark green color and you just kind of go underneath. And then you're going to take a little bit of the green on one side of the brush and a little bit of the light green on the other side of the brush and just kind of go between like the part where they started, like where they meet, just to blend it, 
And that's it for the green. And you're actually almost done with eyeshadow after this, which is exciting. After this, you're going to take a dark brown and a crease brush. Let me just show you the brush first, and then I'll show you the color. So you're using this brush, a brush like this. It's like a tapered end, and it's really good for, like, blending. This is really cheap. It's like Studio Tools from Target. It cost me, like, $2. Anyways, you're going to take a dark brown, and I am using this color right there. Um, and you're just going to take a little bit on your brush, tap off. Definitely make sure to tap off, because some browns can be, like, really rich and overbearing. And you're just going to start in the outer edge of your crease and bring it in and just kind of blend and make it a little bit wider out here. And then as you go in, try to make it a little bit skinnier. And if you get a little bit too much on the inside, like you decide that, then you can kind of just wipe it away. And then you can kind of drag this down just to make it look really awesome, I guess. I don't know. More even. Balance the color. Let's go with that. And then after this, you are going to put a highlight. Take your same small shader brush and just use a light tan color. I am using this color right there. And then you're just going to get a little bit on your brush, put it on your upper eyebrow, like from where the highest point is out, and you can take it in a little bit. And that's it for eyeshadow. So now you're going to do your eyeliner, and I am using a dark brown Sephora eyeliner. It's just a pencil liner. And you're going to line your lower waterline. And get the inner corner too. So you can do the upper part of the inner corner and then pull it down to just kind of do the lower part of the inner corner. This makes everything really dramatic, I think. After this, you're going to curl your lashes and you just hold it like for five seconds. By the way, I don't re recommend um, eyelash curlers like this, especially from Forever 21. It, they hurt a lot more. I just have nothing else. And now you're ready for mascara. And I'm using Smashbox Full, Full Exposure. And I know it looks backwards. But yeah, it's Ma Smashbox Full Exposure. I think I got it that time. And you're just going to carefully... Get your lashes, like, go from the bottom and wiggle up. And then you're going to just kind of look down and get your lower lashes. And you don't want to dip again before you get your lower lashes because you 